Hi guys! So good day! In line with our discussion with the dimensioning, we will be continue this discussion with methods of dimensioning common features. So what are those methods that we have when it comes to dimensioning? First, we have the dimensioning by tapered parts. When we dimension tapered part, extension lines be at angle and parallel to each other. So dimension line be drawn parallel to feature to be dimensioned. So I have here the illustration to explain that. So as you could see, it uses the uh, line system as you remember with our previous discussion. So you have here the dimensioning of the diameter. So we also have the dimensioning of other parts. So when we say tapered parts, so there are the parts that has been tapered. So you have to be, for example, the 15 m, 15 unit diameter. So it has been dimensioned in that way so that it could uh, present in a manner that it will indicate that it is a circle. So the same thing with other dimension that uses the diameter symbol. So we also have the another dimensions, you no, know, the 10, 10.5, 42, and the rest of the dimension. Another one is the unidirectional. So the same thing, just like the previous uh, illustration, but it is a unidirectional approach, you no, know, where in the numerical value of the dimensions are oriented in the same manner. So we have also the dimensioning of smaller width. When we say dimensioning smaller width, arrowheads are replaced by oblique lines. So these are the illustration. So as you could see here, the oblique or uh, the the arrowhead on the dimension line are placed by the oblique lines. Then uh, the dimension that should be placed either on the top or you, you could use unidirectional or align. It will be placed outside, no, the dimension lines. In that manner, uh, the dimension could be read or it could be written uh, correctly, no, and readably. So, sabihin, pwede siya mabasa, hindi siya yung siksikan, no, when we say that, no, that's why it could be uh, on that way, so that the the designer or even the one who will see your drawing or design will easily understood what you have drawn or what is the dimension that you're referring to. Next, we have to avoid placing dimensions too far away from feature. So, feature that means your drawing or the one that you want to be dimensioned. Dimension lines are drawn closer and not fully. So, this is the illustration for that. So, as you could see, you know, the uh, dimensions here are the diameters of certain parts of the drawing or a feature. So, they're not fully uh, dimensioned no, so that they will not be what far away from each other. That means because you you will consider also the space of the dimension lines when you dimension. So as I always say, you no, know, when it comes to dimensioning, you have to dimension in a way that the numbers or even the dimensions are properly distant or distanced to, to each other, so that we could properly or we could also easily read or uh, of the dimension, the numerical value of that dimension. So in this manner, so that to avoid uh, further or distances that are that will make it far away from each other so they use this one no this method next we have the dimensioning cylindrical and spherical features so cylindrical features have diameter and length so while or whereas sphere has a diameter only so we have here the illustration so as you can see here for example the illustration that we have on the left side so uh, it has uh, it presented diameter so for example that is just uh, 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 for example a screw no it has a diameter so present in the manner if the screw has a length then project a length or have a length to be dimensioned if on the right side of the drawing just you can see the diameter 50 and 35 so S there or S theta 50 that means spherical diameter when we have two dimension spherical uh, diameter or dimension spheres no, with their diameter you write S but uh, in general practice no, whether it's a sphere, sphere or a cylinder uh, we just use the diameter symbol or radius symbol no, in that manner so if there's an S or SR that means uh, spherical no, spherical diameter next we have also the dimensioning accord accord is a distance 
between two points in a circle, no, in the circumference of the circle. So, as you can see here in the illustration, so the 70 unit uh, dimension is the that the chord distance. So, when we say chord, no, uh, it's a dimension between two points in a circle. So, when we dimension the chord, uh, that means that is uh, we use the uh, system or you could use unidirectional or a line, but the dimension should be parallel to the chord. No, the same thing with the other one which is the 20 unit chord dimension so we have also that I'm mentioning an arc or a radius so for example here now we have the 100 unit arc length so arc basically no it's part of a circle no, or the circumference of the circle rather so you could uh, determine for example you you just uh, want to have this arc to be measured so on that way no you measure that arc on that way so the dimension line will be parallel to the arc also so it will be somehow it will be bent no or on a certain degree of curve that the arc also is presented so we have also the dimensioning of equidistant features when we say equidistant that means equal distance no i have where, where equidistant features or uniformly arranged elements are parts of the drawing specification of the dimension may be simplified so i have here the illustration so here now you could see there's a uh, 18 unit distances between the circles now the first figure figure a so you could write it in a manner that five because there's a uh, five distances no of 18 so five times 18 is equal to 90 you could present it on that way no if you want it no if those those distances are equidistant or in the same manner for example you have a lengthy uh, feature no just like the second figure the, the use of continuous lines or no? break lines no that means the continuous one so you could write for example there's a 17 distances between the circles no there's there are equidistant so for example 18 then figure b you could see that 17 times 18 is 306 unit of distance so you, in the same way no that also presents the distances between those circles no in totality so it, those uh, techniques as well uh, have been used no to measure the total length so that the 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 person going to look at your drawing or design no? for example you have to present it on the production side or to the people that will execute your drawing they will understand what you have drawn easily because you have there the total uh, distance between equidistance uh, equidistant features next we have the dimensioning angles and angular spacings so when we dimension angles and angular spacings so this is the illustration so as you can see if there are five circles for example in this one no five circles then uh, inside a pie no are part of the uh, circle then you have distances between them that is 10 degrees you could uh, execute that in this manner that 4 or times 10 is equal to 40 or you could execute just like the other one which is a 60 degrees on the drawing so whatever type of approach that you use no whether you use a line or unidirectional system just make sure that the dimension line is also parallel to the arc length that that the distance or the angle will produce you no know, just like this one you no know, the 60 60 degrees you no know? so just like they are dimensioning arc length you no know, the dimension line will be parallel in a way that it will be curved or bent you no know, so that it will have the same uh, degree of curvature just like the arc or in this in this case you no know, the, the degrees that you want to measured or dimension next if the feature is whole no or busha no yeah just dimension in this manner so for example the outer circle has diameter of 70 units then the inner circle is uh, having diameter of 50 units then the circles inside those no you mga maliliit has a 9 unit diameter so either way you could use uh, this type of dimensioning when it comes to uh, this approach no? next we have the dimensioning by periphery so I have a illustration 
Uh, when you say periphery, you know, these are the parts of the drawing that has been, uh, for example, the cut edges on this feature. So you can see the eight unit, then the five. So because it has been cut, no, just like a gear. So that's the uh, feature. Next, also have the diameters. So the total diameter of that circle that's being cut. Also with other features of this drawing. Next, we have the dimensioning repeated features. When we say repeated fe features, that means that the features is being repeated no, a, a certain number of times. So, I have here the illustration. So, the, in this uh, feature, no, in this drawing, we have the smaller circles with the diameter of 6 unit. No? It has a 6 unit uh, diameter. So, anim din yan. So, for example, in that case, no, you see on the left side of the drawing, that is 8 unit distances. You also have the 8 unit diameter of the larger circle inside that, inside that feature. Then we have the 3 unit diameter. No? So, we may have to, to, dim to dimension repeated features. This should be that way. No? You could use the this type of approach or the common parallel. Diba? So that you could present it in a manner that the the reader of your drawing or the, of your design or the one that you're going to present the design will understand what you have drawn or what you have designed. So, we have also dimensioning arcs by radius. So, in this case, on this example on the figure, as you can see, so there are a lot of arcs no, on this feature. So, for example, that the arcs will be dimensioned through radius. So, it is a common practice no, nowadays for example, especially with the designer so that the design will execute not to actual for example it will be a pattern to a certain product the the production side will understand no what you want to achieve with this drawing when it comes to your radius or your arc lengths no for example uh, they will uh, execute this so the production side will understand okay this is the radius of this arc they, then they will uh, produce a certain arc with that radius not through machine through pattern so that they will have the exact uh, shape that you want to produce as a designer so uh, don't uh, be uh, too overwhelmed with this one it's just that you are just presenting the radius nevertheless no the the production wants wants you to have the arc length or the diameter it depends on them to to ask the other dimensions so with that i would just like to present to you the plate number two or the activity number two that we have entitled dimensioning so i just want you to reproduce this drawing so with this drawing no so have it on a paper that the same size that i have also uh, given to you with your plate number one the same format or the same approach no that uh that you've done with your plate number one so just reproduce this drawing then submit this drawing on the specified date that will be uh, you, that you will see no, on the MS Teams on our group then also I will send this uh, picture or a file separately so that you could easily see the dimensions so that's it if you have any questions or concerns regarding the discussions that we have and also with the plate that you're going to do for this week and to be submitted on the specified date that you're going to see on MS Teams, you could just comment on this uh, comment box and then you could also message me through MS Team and Messenger. So thank you and hopefully you've learned something and have a great day.